Now on Sunrise and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, after a long hiatus, the grand jury in the Donald Trump classified documents case is expected to meet this week. We have the details on whether prosecutors are ready to indict the former president. And a sonic boom shook the DMV Sunday. U.S. fighter jets deployed to intercept the plane that entered restricted airspace over Washington, D.C. That plane later crashed. We're learning more this morning on why the plane veered off course. Plus, SpaceX Falcon 9 launched 22 generation Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit Sunday. We have the details on the launch straight ahead. And on the outside, nice view this morning. Sun's up, clouds in. This is live view from Quero, by the way. Are any chances on the rise? That's a yes. We'll give you the details coming up in the full forecast. The Victoria Generals are back in town. I'll have that coming up in sports. You're watching 25 News Now Sunrise. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Carolina Astrain. I'm Trey Mining. And today is the fifth day of June 2023. The time is now 631 on your Monday morning and today it's National Start Over Day. Wow, Trey, sometimes you just want to start your whole day over. You know, they say hindsight is 2020, so. That is true. I was also thinking people may want to start over with their credit scores. We were taking answers for our question of the day earlier. You can still post your answer. The the credit is good, of course. It's easy to fall down and hard to get back up on the credit score line. So yes, doing some better financial choices would be good. And lots of people commenting on our question of the day post today saying that they wish they had spent more time with family members. You know, as the old saying goes, nobody says they wish they would have spent more time at the office. That's true, Trey. So I will take some time here to give you some weather, though, to see how it's going to be. Cloudy skies you see there in uh, Quero, courtesy of the weather book site there. Nice view. Sun's up, but it's behind the clouds, of course. And rain chances throughout the day today. Temperatures in the 70s in Victoria, for example, 73 degrees. So definitely warm and humid. 100% humidity is saturated out there. Of course, you can feel that as soon as you step outside. And a few rain showers move through the Victoria region. It's a few now, very light sprinkles there, probably, near the Mission Valley area, down to about uh, Refugio, now, now out in the Gulf of Mexico, with thunderstorms continuing there. And a few more trying to develop there in Carn City to about Pleasanton and south of there toward Beeville. And so the rain chance today, pretty, pretty widespread, and about a 40% chance, I'm thinking. Temperatures currently in the 70s, upper 70s along the immediate coast, for example, Port O'Connor. At 75 degrees in Cedar, 73 degrees in Victoria, and mid 70s all the way up from about Quero area to Yoakum. And it's cooler there, 70 degrees in Carn to Carn City and the Beeville area. Why is it cooler there? Of course, that's where the storms were earlier, cooling those folks down a few degrees, but still warm and humid no matter where you go throughout the day. And looking at the future, future tracker right quick, seeing the thunderstorms developing a little bit more toward the afternoon hours and work toward that two period of time with daytime heating and still continuing to be around coming up by the 6 p.m. hour beginning to fade out a little bit better chances tomorrow as the trough moves inland what are the rain percentages for that day and the rest of the week we'll take a look at that in the full forecast to come carolina thank you trey the texas department state the Texas Department of State Health Services is linking a restaurant to sugarosis, a sugarosis outbreak that is in Lavaca County. Cabo San Lucas Mexican Grill in Hallettsville is the restaurant linked with the outbreak. Sugarosis is a food poisoning that may cause dysentery, which is diarrhea with blood or mucus. The restaurant had this to say, we'd like to offer our apologies to our customers affected by last Thursday's dinner service. We have been working closely with our food suppliers, employees, and health inspectors on fixing the problem. Houston-based food and water safety lawyer Jory Lang is filing a suit for a client affected by sugarosis from the restaurant. Cabo San Lucas owner disposed and discarded all food products and ordered more. This is an ongoing investigation. We will keep you updated. A report of a suspicious vehicle was called into the Fayette County Sheriff's Dispatch early Tuesday. The vehicle, described as a blue truck, was reportedly traveling on U.S. Highway 77 just north of LaGrange. Authorities say they located a vehicle matching the description and pulled the vehicle over. Inside was 25-year-old Damon Stewart of Houston and 41-year-old Amanda Campos of Weimar. During a pat-down search of Stewart, authorities found a cake vape pen containing THC. The discovery led to a probable cause search of the vehicle, where authorities found a methamphetamine pipe, which Stewart admitted was his. Authorities say they also found a large amount of mail containing different names and addresses from the area. Authorities say over 15 different addresses were on the mail collected from the truck. 
Stewart and Campos were arrested and charged with theft of mail. They were transported and booked into the Dan Arbeck Justice Center. Sources have learned the federal grand jury in the Donald Trump classified documents case is expected to meet again this week. The grand jury is meeting after a long hiatus that's part of the Justice Department's investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. Prosecutors working for special counsel Jack Smith have presented the grand jury with evidence and witness testimony for months. It's unclear whether prosecutors are prepared to seek an indictment at this point. The Justice Department has not commented on the status of the investigation. Trump maintains he has broken no laws and the investigation is politically motivated. Leading us to your viewer poll, do you think Trump will be indicted in the classified documents investigation? Okay, let's take a look. 54% of you say yes and 46% and of you say no. Thank you for taking part in our viewer poll. Now to the sonic boom startling people in D.C. and two states, the deadly plane crash connected to it all. The military says two fighter jets were sent to intercept a plane after the aircraft entered restricted airspace over Washington, D.C. This morning, some near the nation's capital are still rattled after a quiet Sunday was interrupted with this. It was uh, very jarring. We thought it was probably an earthquake. A sonic boom startling residents across the region. This couple in Fairfax, Virginia, was recording a song when the boom causes them to leap out of their seat. The Capitol and White House were both briefly placed on high alert. The sound was caused by two D.C. Air National Guard F-16s that were scrambled from Maryland after a Cessna business jet entered restricted airspace over the nation's capital. Around 3 p.m., those F-16s going supersonic to catch up with the Cessna, creating a sonic boom heard in D.C. and surrounding areas. The F-16s intercepting the plane using flares in an attempt to draw the pilot's attention, but were unsuccessful. Ten minutes later, the plane crashing near George Washington National Forest in Virginia with four people on board. When the D.C. Air National Guard F-16s eventually caught up to this aircraft, they looked in the cockpit and they could see that the pilot was slumped over and unconscious. Aviation experts say hypoxia may have incapacitated the pilot and those on board. The most likely scenario here is that there was some loss of pressurization, which induced hypoxia. Hypoxia is just the loss of consciousness due to lack of oxygen. You may not even know that it's coming on until you lose consciousness. As for Sunday's crash, the man who runs the Florida-based company that owns the jet tells the Washington Post his daughter and two-year-old granddaughter, her nanny, and the pilot were on the flight. He says they were returning home to Long Island, New York, after a visit to his North Carolina home. Flight tracking data shows the plane made it to Long Island but didn't land, instead turning and heading straight to the D.C. area. Those F-16s were scrambled from Joint Base Andrews, where President Biden was playing golf with his brother at around the same time. Overnight, Virginia police say they reached the crash site and found no survivors. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. NORAD, which monitors U.S. airspace, says in total six fighters from three different locations were tracking the Cessna's progress. They were all scrambled at the same time from Joint Base Andrews and bases in New Jersey and South Carolina. The FAA and National Transportation Safety Board will investigate what led to the crash. SpaceX launched a new fleet, a, a fleet of new Starlink satellites into orbit early Sunday morning. A Falcon 9 rocket topped with 22 V2 mini satellites lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida just after 8 a.m. SpaceX says the V2 mini is the smaller version of the 2 V2 of the new V2 satellite and has four times the capacity for serving users compared to its earlier counterparts. The Falcon 9's first stage returned to Earth eight minutes after liftoff touching down on the SpaceX drone ship. Just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX later confirmed all 22 V2 minis were deployed. The time is now 6.39 on your Monday morning. Here's a look at what's coming up on 25 News Now Sunrise. Maryland is seeing its first confirmed case of the measles since 2019. Tensions are mounting between the U.S. and China this morning. I'm Lindsay Watts in Washington. Coming up, we have new video of a Chinese warship cutting off a U.S. destroyer, nearly causing a collision. And a quick look at the future tracker, seeing cloudy skies throughout the day. Scattered rain showers and storms coming in for your day today and tomorrow. What about the percentages on those and when's the rain chances are going to subside a little bit? We'll find out more coming up in your forecast. Howdy, I'm John Zacek, Prosperity's Area Chairman. Our banking services work for our customers. 
Need an account? Open one online or get full service in our banking centers. Working for our customers, that's the prosperity difference. We're real bankers, not just a bank. At Building Kid Steps, we understand that every child is unique. That's why we offer personalized therapy programs designed to meet each child's individual needs. Whether your child needs help with speech or physical development, our experienced therapists use play-based techniques to make therapy fun and engaging. We believe that every child has the potential to reach their full potential, and we're here to help them every step of the way. Contact us today to learn more about how we can help your child thrive. I like that. It's a nice way to start our Monday. Yes. It, really, it is Monday, yes? <laughs> Monday on Live. Adrian Brody from Asteroid City. Plus, Dominique Fishback from Transformers Rise of the Beast. Oh, hi. My gosh, when you realize there are people up top. Um. <laughs> I'm David Zalman, Prosperity Bank CEO. In this age of technology-driven banking, we give you the choice of full service in all our locations or 24-7 online. That's the prosperity difference. We're real bankers, not just a bank. Tired of your typical clock-in, clock-out job? You need a rewarding career in an entertaining environment that you'll enjoy. Take yourself out of the box and come to the Victoria Television Group. We have an active, fun, creative atmosphere that can help you succeed and keep those everyday work blues away. Come join our energetic and outgoing sales team. Renew your career and learn to use skills you didn't know you had. Call us, 361-575-2500 or email opportunity at victoriatelevision.com for more information. Good morning, good morning. Trey Mining here. Let's take a look at the weather map this morning. Pretty good rain, just scattered rain showers and storms all the way from the Panhandle all the way down to Victoria and South Texas. And western Texas from about maybe middle of Odessa, west toward El Paso is skipping out on the rain this, this morning so far. But what's going on? If we'll run this future tracker in motion here shortly. High pressure to our east, and the winds are under high pressure just like this. Coming around the Gulf of Mexico is in scooting this truffle pressure, tropical wave, if you will, into the, our area. Coming up by your day tomorrow, increasing our rain chances by then. Then it begins to fade on out as dry air works in and giving us less rain chances after we get through your Tuesday. How much can we expect? By the time we get to 11 o'clock in the morning, we could have anywhere from this is a little bit high in our eastern areas. I'm thinking this is where the model is showing that. But there'd be pretty appreciable rainfall chances to run this all the way through your day on Tuesday. Maybe anywhere half an inch or so is averaging around the region with the storm moving in for your day to day and tomorrow combined with total rain totals by the time we get to your Wednesday morning, about three quarters of an inch at best in some areas of the crossroads. We still do need the rainfall around here. Currently not in a drought situation by the drought monitor, but any rain is sure appreciated and can soak in very nicely. What are the rain chances for the uh, rest of the week after this? There is some lingering. We'll talk about that in high temperatures reaching the 90s. Of course, later on in the full forecast to come before we go this half hour. Drink some water out there, try as best to stay cool and make it a great day. I know you will, Carolina. Thank you, Trey. The Victoria Generals had an exciting finish to its home opener, and Texas has two of the most profitable sports franchises. Sports reporter Zach Brown has more. The Victoria Generals back in town trying to crack the win column, playing in front of a packed house at Riverside, down 2 nothing for most of the game until the eighth inning when they finally erupted for three runs. They got a two-run double from Gage Gilchrist. Here's what him and Coach Oros had to say. Man, it's good to get one underneath our belt. We were talking earlier in the game and we just had to stick together and get the job done. It was great coming back. We were so excited to get home in front of our home crowd. Uh, it was kind of dull for the beginning of the game, but we finally gave the crowd something to uh, cheer about in the eighth and ninth inning and, and the result was in our favor. You missed out if you didn't catch them last night, but you can catch them tonight as well at Riverside. Forbes came out with a list of the most profitable teams in the world. Number one, the Dallas Cowboys. Their three-year total operating income sitting at over $1 billion. At number six, the Houston Texans at $356 million over the last three years. Right behind them, the Golden State Warriors, Lakers, and the New York Giants. Also, the Astros lost a tough one yesterday, but the Texas Rangers continue to roll, leading the AL West by three games. With your 25 Sports Now, I'm Zach Brown.
Thank you, Zach. All right, we want to invite you all to experience our digital streaming service, Crossroads, today. Plus, you can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Work, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. This morning, mounting tensions between the U.S. and China. We have new video after a Chinese warship cut off a U.S. destroyer, nearly colliding with it in the Taiwan Strait. It's just the latest aggressive military move by the country that has the U.S. on edge. New video this morning shows just how close a Chinese warship came to a U.S. military destroyer in the Taiwan Strait Saturday. The video captured from aboard the USS Chunghoon and additional footage of the incident coming from Canadian broadcaster Global News. Estimates are the Chinese ship was just 150 yards from the U.S. destroyer. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin warning China's government. Do the right things to rein in that kind of uh, conduct because I think accidents can happen that could cause things to spiral out of control. China's defense minister is defending its warship. What's the telling the U.S. to, quote, mind your own business and calling the U.S. and Canadian military presence in the Taiwan Strait a provocation. The U.S. is seeing an alarming increase in confrontations with China. Just last week, a Chinese fighter jet flew within 400 feet of an American spy plane over the South China Sea, forcing the U.S. plane to bounce wildly through turbulence of the fighter jet's wake. U.S. officials criticized the maneuver as unnecessarily aggressive and part of a pattern by China. They're trying to um, you know, flex their muscles and advance authoritarianism. We need to stand strong. The Republican chair of the U.S. Intelligence Committee calls China's aggression unbelievable, also highlighting that massive Chinese spy balloon that traveled across the U.S. before being shot down. The Biden administration is looking for a diplomatic fix to the souring relations, sending a senior State Department official on a rare visit to Beijing. China's defense minister declined a meeting with Defense Secretary Austin at a security conference in Singapore on Friday, although the two did have a brief discussion at dinner. Austin says more conversations are needed to avoid miscalculations that could lead to crisis. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Washington. The time is now 6.47 on your Monday morning. Still to come, authorities in Iowa confirmed Sunday that the body of a man that was missing since the partial collapse of a building has been recovered. Okay, it's time to celebrate some birthdays. Happy 21st birthday to Michael. Love mom, Adam, and dad. Happy birthday to Michael. There he is. Michael is 24. All right, and actor Mark Wahlberg with a birthday today. He is 52. And R&B superstar singer Brian McKnight is 54 today. Happy birthday. And to see your birthday wish live on 25 News Now Sunrise, come to CrossroadsToday.com. Click on More and Under Home. You see the KVU submit your birthday. And the time is now 6.48 on your Monday morning. Happy birthday if you're celebrating one today or maybe you did this weekend. And stay with us, we'll be right back. My name's Danny and I absolutely love my F-150. I bought this particular truck because of the Blue Cruise. You literally let go of your hands. It just centers the car in the lane, follows the person in front of me, keeps a safe distance. In my experience, the Ford F-150 is the best in Texas. Lease a new Ford F-150 for just $4.99 a month or choose 0% plus 750 cash. Both include complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. From the moment you wake up until it's time to go to sleep again, we know you have to wear many hats. When you're ready to be you again, the why is here. 2023 is the year to take all that you've been given and turn it into something stronger, bigger, better. 2023 is the year of strength, accountability, and accomplishment. This year, be you. Be a member. Visit ymcagoldencrescent.org to schedule a tour today. Aggressive drivers, they aren't just rude, they can be deadly. Don't be that guy. 
Many children think it's just a game, getting a rush from fainting. The blackout challenge encourages children to suffocate themselves until they black out. He had a stopwatch. He was trying to time himself. Our son Tate passed away. I unfortunately found him. There's no words to describe the nightmares. When you're talking about holding these people accountable, they need to be held accountable. Next, Dr. Phil. Tired of your typical clock in, clock out job? You need a rewarding career in an entertaining environment that you'll enjoy. Take yourself out of the box and come to the Victoria Television Group. We have an active, fun, creative atmosphere that can help you succeed and keep those everyday work blues away. Come join our energetic and outgoing sales team. Renew your career and learn to use skills you didn't know you had. Call us, 361-575-2500 or email opportunity at victoriatelevision.com for more information. Are you ready to stop letting big business take your customers away? Phase 3 Digital is your number one digital marketing resource to keep your customers shopping with you. With an office right here in the crossroads and a team of support across the nation, we can help you wherever your business is in the online journey. From building a site to developing e-commerce capabilities to growing your customer base, we will drive results. It is time to take the next step in growing your business with Phase 3 Digital. Are you ready to take your customers back? Give us a call or visit us online to get started. Good morning. It's nine minutes away from 7 a.m. Looking at the radar this morning, a few areas of rain showers this morning. Currently, just north of Victoria, some light sprinkles to a very light rain. Primarily now near Thomaston, Mission Valley area, moving in the north parts of Victoria. And from Goliad westward toward Pettis Pony, Beeville, Normana area, some scattered thunderstorms in this mix right here. They're weaker than they were when they were up in the hill country, causing some thunderstorm activity north of San Antonio earlier than, er, this morning. And a lingering rain shower there near Hallisville and Columbus this morning. Scattered rain throughout the day today and maybe some rumbles of thunder with that as we go throughout the afternoon hours especially. Looking like we'll have a little bit of a reduction in activity in the overnight and then working into your day tomorrow. Better chances with the trough low pressure moving on shore. 89 degrees today. Scattered rain showers and storms throughout the day today. Partly cloudy skies. Keep that in mind. A 40% chance. Overnight lows near 70 degrees. Cloudy skies. Scattered rain showers here and there. And tomorrow, highs in the upper 80s due to more cloud cover and thunderstorms are likely throughout the day, at least 50% chances. Keep that umbrella handy. And the rain turns off slowly by the time we get to the first part of the weekend. And then hot temperatures are way into the mid-90s, perhaps, by Saturday and Sunday. All right, thank you, Trey. Maryland is seeing its first confirmed case of measles since 2019. Leaders in Montgomery County say the case is linked to a gathering of people at an ice rink in Bethesda last week as well as a professional office in Gaithersburg. Measles is a highly contagious viral illness. Symptoms are typical of many respiratory illnesses, followed by a characteristic rash that usually appears on the face, spreading some days later. The CDC says there are 10 measles cases in the U.S. as of April 28th. The writer's strike is still ongoing, but it looks like directors now have a deal with major film studios. A historic but tentative agreement is now in place between the Directors Guild of America. The pact was reached to set the terms of a new three-year collective bargaining agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. The deal was reached Saturday night and affects wages, work hours, residuals, and even artificial intelligence. The tentative agreement will be submitted to the Guild's National Board at a Tuesday meeting. Still to come on Sunrise, news to know before you go. A fourth person now in custody in connection with that mass shooting in Broward County, Florida. I'm just trying to get my Kelly Clarkson on. Sterling K. Brown. And from Never Have I Ever, Jaron Lewison. You just get trumped him. Well. You're my favorite guest. <laughs> <laughs> so you, wait, you play a nerd on the show, but yep. not in magazines. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Your character, Randall, had like a shirtless scene. Nerds work out. Nerds yeah, work we work out. out. Yeah. Let's go, like, for the nerds. nerds. I'm a ripped nerd as well. <laughs> Next, Kelly. This is tasty. I was arrested, and it was for a DUI. You're a school teacher. Being behind bars taught her a lesson. And then you bailed her out of jail. We were off again, on again. She had nobody to turn to. She called me in the middle of the night. I didn't ask him to bail me out. Will she ever learn about gratitude? Well, I feel that... I don't care how you feel. I would like this case to be over. Amen. Next, Judge Judy.
Live Monday on Cherry. We love blockbusters. Movies that are heating up the summer. Plus, 80s heartthrob Andrew McCarthy. This morning, Sir Elton John himself is live on... Good Morning America! And this week, Alicia Keys, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Samuel L. Jackson, all live right here... You gotta love it. ...on... Good Morning America! My name is Adarius McCormick, and I want you to know about my new segment, Homemade with Adarius. I will interview amazing people and showcase intriguing places that may be new to you in the crossroads. Want to show off something homemade? Email us at homemade at victoriatelevision.com. See my new segment on Crossroads Today YouTube channel and Crossroads Today Plus. You do not want to miss this. An active search is underway for Aiden Rodriguez missing out of El Campo. Rodriguez was last seen around 9 p.m. Tuesday, May 30th. If you have any information on his whereabouts, contact Sergeant Douglas with the El Campo Police. The number to reach him at is 979-543-5311. Authorities in Davenport, Iowa confirmed Sunday that the body of a man that was missing since the partial collapse of a building was recovered. The body of Braden Colvin Sr. was found Saturday and his family was notified. A center section of the six-story brick and steel building collapsed on May 28th. The building, which is more than 100 years old, contained 84 apartments and businesses. At least nine people were rescued from the site in the days after the collapse. Two other men, Ryan Hitchcock and Daniel Prin, were still missing as of Sunday. A fourth person is now in custody in connection with that mass shooting in Broward County, Florida. Investigators say officers arrested the fourth suspect on Sunday. They are still looking for one more person involved in the Memorial Day shooting that wounded nine people near Hollywood Beach Boardwalk. Police say seven of the nine people shot are now out of the hospital, but two more are still undergoing treatment. Police say an argument between two groups of people happened shortly before the gunfire erupted. A fire engulfs buildings at the Metro Richmond Zoo in Virginia and on Sunday night. Emergency crews received a 911 call shortly before 10 p.m. reporting a fire at the Metro Richmond Zoo. They arrived on scene to find several buildings on fire, including several maintenance buildings and a veterinary clinic. Authorities say all animals are thought to be lost thought to be lost rather in the veterinary building are were located and are safe. One animal enclosure fence was damaged. All of those anim animals were accounted for and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Drivers are urged to use alternate routes today through Wednesday if they travel Farm to Market Road 1157 in Jackson County. That's FM 1157 from Babcock Street to County Road 224 near Ganado. That'll close temporarily due to road work. Only residents in the area will be allowed road access. Victoria County Commissioners meet today at 10 a.m. We have some items from their agenda. Up for consideration is the reappointment of John Gilly and Annie Cullen to the Victoria County Navigation District Board, and they'll also consider an appointment to the Victoria to the excuse me to the citizens medical center board of managers if you cannot attend commissioner's court it will be available online okay we want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service crossroads today plus now let's get a final look at our forecast with trey and thank you so much carolina we're looking at a few rain showers this morning currently near pettis pawnee area to beeville and normana a little bit of little activity in their victoria currently not amounting too much but keeping the streets away a little bit Scattered storms throughout the day, so keep that in mind. And keep your umbrella handy. Highs today near 90 degrees. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, 40% chance. Overnight lows in the 60s and near 70 for your day. And tomorrow, keep the high temperatures near 87 degrees. Good chance of rain showers for your Thursday, for your Wednesday. And then the rest of the week, hot and increasingly getting hotter. With more sunshine toward Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Make it a great day today and stay cool and dry. Carolina. Thank you, Trey, and thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crossroads Today, and join James, Don, Matt, Karina, and Gina today for 25 News Now at 5, 6, and 10. Make it a great Monday.